The real secret of publishing research papers regularly is getting started and taking action, writing and doing the work every single day. As Mark Twain once said, the secret of getting ahead is just getting started. And after having worked with over 460 PhD students and researchers at Academic English Now, I can tell you with full confidence that one of the biggest reasons why so many PhD students and researchers, maybe like yourself, are struggling to publish as many papers in good journals as you would like to is because you don't take enough action regularly. So if you've been struggling to write papers, if you've been postponing writing papers, if you've been sort of giving yourself the excuse that I haven't read enough yet, I don't have the data yet, um, I need to go to a conference, I need to do X, Y and Z, whatever that is, before I can start writing, then please stop. I'm here to tell you that the real secret of getting ahead of basically 90% of other PhD students and researchers is to get started. And as Yoda of the Star Wars fame once said, there is no trying. So do not try, do it. Okay? Oftentimes, and I'm guilty of that myself, we say, well, I'll try. But when we say I'll try, what we really mean is like we don't really want to do it and we never end up doing it. So stop, stop saying I will try, just start, start saying I will do X, Y and Z. Now, how do you actually start taking daily actions and, and write daily and publish more papers? Well, the first thing that you have to do is prioritize action. Remember that perfection doesn't exist and a lot of people are stuck in this mindset that they can only start doing something once they've figured out everything and they've got this perfect plan that they can finally do things or that they've got this perfect paragraph written and then they can finally give it to the supervisor but perfection does not exist perfection or greatness is created through a, a series of mediocre steps and a series of 1% improvements. Like that paper that you see in nature is so perfect because it's gone through 50 or more revisions. It started crap, it started insignificant, it started with language mistakes. But whoever was writing that paper was making it better every single day and taking action. And if you do that, your progress will be exponential. So if we put progress on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. And if you just make 1% improvement for a long time, it will seem like you're making zero progress, but then all of a sudden you will cross a tipping point and then your progress becomes exponential just like this. Why? Because you've been taking action every single day and trying to be 1% better. Now, the second thing that you also need to do is just to stop procrastinating. Of course, that's easier said than done. So how do you actually stop procrastinating? Well, there are two hurdles that you need to overcome. One of these hurdles is internal. We are more prone to procrastinate on something. The bigger the task is, the bigger the goal is, the more likely research shows we are to procrastinate and postpone and not take action. Probably because, you know, that goal seems so far away, so unachievable, so big that we just get scared. It just seems too daunting. So what you need to do is break that goal down into intermediate goals and daily actions that you can carry out each day until you finally achieve that goal. So don't think about the mountain and the mountain top where you want to get to. Think about the next step. And every mountain, even Mount Everest, is climbed one step at a time. So that's, that will help you to overcome the internal barrier to procrastination. Now, there's also external barriers that you need to tackle. And this, these are to do with your surroundings, with the environment. So you want to put yourself in a place that is free of distractions, that allows you to focus. So for example, get rid of your phone, uh, go to a place where 
there are no other people where you won't be disturbed. If you're in an office, try to go to, to an office where you can be on your own and lock the door and put a note on the office that you're currently busy working on a paper and you'll be available in two hours. Or come rent a co-working space where I am. It's a co-working space. There's nobody here. It's just me, the microphone, the computer and a bottle of water. So which means I, I can't get distracted because there's nothing to get distracted with. I'm just doing my work. Another tip is to try the difficult action, the default action. What does that mean? Well, try to make it easy for yourself to do what is normally difficult. So let's say you want to start your morning writing your paper. Well, when you close your computer, get rid of all the notifications, all the apps, get rid of all that. Just leave the, the document open that you're going to be writing tomorrow morning and then close your laptop, put it to sleep. So the next morning when you open your laptop, the first thing that you see is the paper that you're supposed to be writing. So that difficult action becomes the default action that you do the first thing. You don't get distracted by notifications, by emails, by anything like it. Okay, so that's the second tip. Stop procrastinating. Then number three, you need to eliminate excuses. So when we work with our clients at Academic English Now, sometimes we hear things like, well, look, I can't be working on my paper right now because I still need to read more. Or I can't be working on my paper right now because I need to collect the data or I need to analyze the data or I need to go to this conference or uh, my supervisor asked me to do something else or I need more time. Okay, these are all excuses. I'm sorry to break it to you, but these are all excuses that you've invented for yourself to not to do the difficult thing. Our brains hate to do the difficult thing. Do you think I like writing papers every single day? No, I don't. Do you think I like going to the gym or swimming a kilometer? Usually I don't. I'm tired after the whole day. You have to force yourself to do it. It's not, it's not that easy. So you have to eliminate those excuses and first of all acknowledge that these are just excuses because you can start writing a paper before you've collected or analyzed your data well surely you can write the introduction to the paper the literature review um, the research gap the methodology of that paper you can do all sorts of stuff while you're analyzing the data and the more the, the sooner you eliminate those excuses the faster you're going to get started writing and start making daily progress and then finish your papers faster so once again the real key to publishing multiple papers every single year in top journals is no magic pill it's just taking action every single day and getting ahead is about getting started and you will get ahead of 90% of PhD students and researchers if you pause this video right now and start writing today. Now, if you're still struggling with this and you want to get a proven system to publish three or more papers every single year in top journals, then book a free one-to-one -one consultation with our expert advisors. We're going to sit down with you, talk to you one-to-one -to, -one to find out more about what challenges you have with writing papers, what your goals are, and then we'll come up with a plan especially for you. So if you want to book that one-to-one -one consultation, the link is right below this video.